Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the V4 upgrade kit for your Honcho Auto Trunk, so if you're interested, stay tuned. So here's what the kit comes with. It comes with a chip, a wiring harness for your CAN bus, and the actual new latch. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and take the cover off here. So it's just held in by clips. All you need to do is just yank it straight up and it should pop out. Once you do that, then you want to get rid of these clips um, that are kind of holding the lining in place so you can get to the latch in the control box. So there's one uh, clip here you want to take out. And you just pull the uh, lining and it should pop out. And the top piece is going to come out too, so watch out for that. Go ahead and take this clip off here. Uh, my control box, the control box should be on the right side of the car. So pop that out and then go ahead and there's two more across the back of the lining here so you can get to the, the motor. So that one and then there's one more clip right there. So take that out. Then you should have a lot of room to get to the motor. So go ahead and take the latch off. This is a Torx uh, T45. So I'll link you to that in the description if you want to, if you don't have one. So take off these two uh, bolts here and then take off this one screw here on the other side of the latch that's connected to the motor. And then what you want to do is uh, take this, you know, this screw off so you can get the actual latch you know, disconnected fully from the motor. Once you do that, then you need to screw the other screw all the way to where the, the connector is so you can take it out. If, if you don't do that, you won't be able to get the latch out. So then this part is in reverse order, so see how it's all the way at the end so you can get it in. Then put that piece over the, the tube there and then screw that back in. And of course, make the, the two sides of the, uh, the screws tight as well so it doesn't move. Once you've done that, then you can go ahead and put the motor back under there. Just put it as far as you can down. Uh, if it has a sticky on it, go ahead and stick it down there somewhere. And then, of course, attach the latch back to the mounting point on the trunk. So let's just obviously totally reverse. So go ahead and screw these back in. Make sure it's lined up correctly um, as it was before. So there is some adjustment. So make sure you mark that so you know where yours is lined up. And then get your control box out of this whole mess of wire. So mine was zip tied and stickied in there. So I had to break the zip tie and then pull the control box off the metal piece there to get it out. So once you do that, then you want to disconnect the power, which is this purple. Take that out first. And then we're going to take this piece of the uh, seat off. So just pull it straight back and it just held in my clips. It'll pop off. And then take off this one clip here so you've got more room to uh, <clears throat> thread the wiring through the back of the car that hooks up to the canvas. Once you've done that, go ahead and hook up the canvas. So that piece goes into the control box right there. And then we're going to, you know, bring this thing all the way through the lining here all the way to the basically the center console under the center console so that's you know just bring it through there there's plenty enough room for you to grab it from the other side and this is where you want to kind of line it up so down here and you want to hide it on the seat just push it through and then under the plastic there uh, run it through you know under the floor mat here and then all the way to the actual <clears throat> canvas which is right here. So the canvas piece comes out, you just yank it straight out and it'll pop out. So I'll go ahead and take this plug out. So, and then plug it back in. So you'll notice mine doesn't actually fit. And that's because I have a 2018 Model 3. If you have a 2018 or 2017, you don't even need this piece at all. It's only 2019 and up that you need this canvas piece. So if you have a 2019 and up, then this those two wires will fit in there. So just note that 
you know, based on your actual Model 3. And then go ahead and put the uh, clip back in so you're done with this piece. Definitely put that white piece back into the piece that, you know, you're putting back in the, the seat piece and then put it back in or else it's going to be impossible to get it back in. So I'm going to put that back in place. Should click right in. And then now we just need to upgrade the software. So go ahead and take the chip, put it, in, put it into the control box here and click it in. So there you go, click it in and then plug the power back in. You'll notice that the red light will be blinking. So just let it download the software and then it'll stop blinking and be solid red. Once that happens, then you know that the software update is complete and you can get rid, you can take the chip out. Then go ahead and put the that one clip back in. So I'm just showing you how to do it, you know, with my one hand. So that's what it should look like after it's done. And then go ahead and put the clips on the bottom back in as well. So there's obviously that one and the two across the back of the trunk. And then once you get those in back in, and then all you need to do is put the cover back into the uh, back on top, and that's it. Make sure that the rubber lining in the back is over the plastic uh, right here that I'm showing you, and that's it. So <clears throat> I'll link you to the you know website if you want to get the upgrade. Obviously, if you want to get the entire V4 kit, you can. I'll give you a link to that as well. If you do buy the entire uh, kit, I do have a discount code for you. I'll give you that link in the description as well. Uh, you got to spend at least $499 to get the discount, which is basically the entire uh, kit. So if you get the upgrade, the discount is not applicable. So just FYI, if you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.